But whether you're watching on the VOD channel or you're watching live, certainly appreciate you doing so. Uh, shout out to, hey, shout out to uh, GWJ or uh, it's me, it's me, it's BDB. Nice. Beautiful stuff. Uh, from uh, the one known as GWJ. So uh, good to see you here. And shout outs to everyone who's tuning in. Uh, Going to get to some more Splatoon action. The deciding match, Team That So and Team Muddy, both undefeated thus far. This is going to decide who wins the championship between these two players. And uh, between these two teams, I should say, That So being composed of Eris, Wings, and Rakesh. Rakesh, a very well known. Uh, hey, Viserion. Hey, good, uh, good stuff. Glad to see you here. And Rakesh, a very well known backliner here at the laboratory. And, of course, Muddy teaming up with Infinite Omega, who's coming through with the big plays for his team, man. Infinite Omega rocking out alongside Baki, another member of the Bros Calamity Squall Stars that took on Empire Arcadia and beat them 3-0. Uh, and Chins, who's another well-respected player around these parts. So here we go with game number one between these two sides. And it will be Splat Zones at Sturgeon Shipyard. So two ways to get in, really, unless you want to go the long way. That's so, and Muddy with that familiar splatter shot, Junior. Let's get it on. It's time to splat things up. Welcome to Splat Bro. And that's so going with that Octo shot, interestingly enough. And he'll be accompanied with a end zap, an explosher, and the ballpoint splat land. I believe that would be... Uh, Rakesh's team there. He said that he wanted to break out the ball point a little bit more in this uh, in this game. Muddy dominating the middle of the area with the splatter shot junior. His team also employing an arrow spray, interestingly enough. Another octa shot and a jet squelcher. However, it's a 4-2 advantage on the team for uh, on the field for Team Blue. That's so. Coming through with the inkjet, and he'll take advantage. Cut down on that penalty, and oh, he better watch out for that splat bomb that was tossed ex with expertise by Baki. However, they will lose advantage. That so team consisting of the Octoshot, the Enzap 85, the Explosher of Raptura. And we mentioned him uh, going Explosher before, and here he is now. And of course, the ballpoint splatling being employed by Rakesh. Eris coming through with that Enzap. Not afraid to get up close and personal, so a very close range uh, set. This is going to be a, a punch in the face contest, contest ostensibly. Muddy coming through with uh, with the splatter shot, Junior. The ink armor definitely not uh, not hurting. However, he only gets one kill, and he will have to push back all on his own. He's getting tagged from uh, two sides. And from up above, Wings with the Explosher, excuse me. He'll throw up a sprinkler just uh, to be sure that everything is well and good. Oh, and he's connecting with those Explosher shots. It's always a nice little check, if nothing else, to have that on your side. He'll employ a few bubbles as a defensive measure. However, it's uh, Muddy, who's just in your face constantly. You see his team tag there, TWTV. And that's so getting the better of him with the Octo Shot. So that's so deciding to uh, not go mid range here, although he is very good with the uh, Splatter Shot Pro. Going Octo Shot instead. Same properties as the Splatter Shot, just this is what you use when you want to show off that you beat Octo Expansion. And that's how you show off that you just beat Team That's So. Team Muddy, excuse me, for game number one. And so a knockout victory in uh, Splat Zones for Team That's So. 14 kills up close and personal. That's So putting in that work. Muddy Jr. with 10 splats on, uh, of his own. However, those splats coming at more critical times for Team That's So. And it definitely showed the expertise that he shows uh, on a regular basis with uh, a multitude of weapons, not just the mid-range ones. We are He is known for his Splatter Shot Pro play. That's what's got him on uh, multiple teams. In the past, but you know what? You break out the Octa Shot, you get a little more up close, and all of a sudden, big things happen for you. That inking, uh, that inking ability, certainly coming in handy for Splat Zones, and we'll have to see what he what he does here. Clam Blitz 
at the Reef. This is going to be the second time in two sets that we will see Clamplets at the Reef. And we saw a team that so do quite well on this map in this exact mode. The last time these two, uh, the last time that they went out decimating MKV's team. And in fact, MKV uh, going down without a win in this tournament, unfortunately. But Team That's So looking very good thus far, and Muddy is going to have to regroup and recalibrate. Infinite Omega uh, probably going Aerospray here again. We cannot be sure. But once again, if you are new to this channel, certainly appreciate you all coming through. And uh, we, if you want to follow this channel, absolutely do so. This is where we hold the monthly tournaments from out of the Philadelphia area here in the laboratory in Splatboro, Pennsylvania. And, of course, it's the home of Switch Versus at the Lab, which you can tune in and see right here the fourth Saturday of every month. That is the fourth Saturday of every month. And we are waiting for the commentary side, so I will go ahead and press that myself. And here we go. Because uh, Moosh stepped outside to take care of business to, uh, to cut the grass a little bit and... Now we are getting set for Clam Blitz at the Reef. And the squid in the back said everyone attack and it turned into a Reef Clam Blitz. On his team. That's so once again employing the Octa Shot and Muddy going a uh, Tentatex Splatter Shot. One of the weapons that dominated the Western meta in the early proceedings of this game. And you, uh, of course, uh, the, the team that defined the meta before set to destroy X uh, in the past couple of months has uh, had broken up and unfortunately for him wings with those dualies the Kensa dualies at that again one of those weapons that is a solid mid-tier weapon maybe not as uh, as good as the Kensa sloshing machine but you know hey Kensa weapons they do some work so let's not disrespect them Rakesh coming through with a, a myriad of clams and working the... T oh, my gosh. They got the counter down to more than halfway. 53 to nil on the board right now for Rakesh and company. Eris providing some more support. And Rakesh, he'll go back to the back line, fully satisfied with the job that he has done. The damage has been administered, and Rakesh's team, team that so is going to take a dominating lead to start things off. And now all of a sudden, it uh, seems like the advantage in terms of ink on the ground solely in the uh, control of that so, who will take out Muddy as well as Infinite Omega, maybe getting a little antsy with the arrow spray. He has no choice but to go up close with that weapon, and that so knew it. He takes out Muddy once again. That's so, looking to take out the Stingray. He'll instead uh, get met with the end zap of Baki, who's trying to ink as much as he possibly can, but that's so, doing well to station themselves at points where he just, just he gets cut off a little too easily. It's really just coming down to non individual players, but who's working better together as a unit, and right now it is decisively in the favor of Team That's So, who is up 59 to nil. Here in the opening part of this game number two. Clam Blitz at the Reef and oh, Chins was trying to sneak in with a power clam and not happening. Says that's so, that's so, says no, no. And the Splat Bombs coming out and oh, he's just lurking like a shark in the water. You, you hear that Jaws theme playing? That's so, lurking in the water. However, Baki had a harpoon for him in the form of an NZAP 85. Baki is going to employ that ink armor. Is going to help his team try to push forward, and he's getting, he's looking for everything he possibly can. However, Eris, uh, his team just a little too slow to respond, and indeed a three to, a four to one advantage on the field. That's a full team wipe now, and now they have even more ample opportunity to push forward and take control of midfield. And Eris wasting no time. Maybe just a little quicker on initiative than is uh, Team Muddy right now. And that Aerospray getting taken out, as you see, as well as the Tentatech of Muddy Jr. Chins as well, 
suffering a loss. And oh my goodness, this is a full-on team wipe. Muddy, however, jumping right in. We're used to seeing him work in tight spaces, but right now he's, he can only do so much. The penalty will be completely erased by another power clam, and that's a 70 to nil lead. Could this be the knockout blow that Team Natso is looking for? Rakesh breaking out the ray. Natso is going to look for any opportunity to get those power clams. However, sensing the opportunity. Oh, wait a second, Eris sneaks in. Eris snuck in and delivered the knockout blow. And there you go, that's so 2-0. Beautiful stuff from Team That's So, and Baki putting in work with that end zap, and 10 uh, splats on his part. But again, 16 splats from that So at close range with that Octa shot. A very impressive, uh, very impressive array of skills that That So is breaking out. But again, it is a team effort, and it certainly showed with that match. And now all of a sudden, Team Muddy is going to really have to regroup here. It's going to be tower control for game number three. So we're probably going to see that so go with the Splattershot Pro again. It makes you wonder if he's going to go with the Forge. Just because of the effectiveness of the suction bomb on that tower. It really does make you uh, have to scramble to get off sometimes. Especially when you have... Uh, a team as oppressive as that so is in his face. That's a luxury that that so can afford. He might just go Octa Shot again. Who knows? Well, once again, folks, if you are watching this on the VOD channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's where you can see footage from this and past Switch versus events, as well as, hey, maybe you're a fan of Smash. Uh, of Smash. You can definitely see the history of Philadelphia Smash Brothers right on that channel, youtube.com slash bros calamity. We're going to press the button on our end. And yeah, it's okay. We got a uh, someone. Someone's got a uh, someone's got to be on point around here. You never know. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, I mean, all I'm doing is uh, solo commentary. It's it's no big deal for a team game, no less. You people, let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> all I needed was you to press one button. <laughs> That's all I really. Yeah, and uh, maybe a little bit of indecision on the part of that. So who was looking confident at first? I think a weapon change was in store for that. So we could be seeing that Forge Splatter Shop Pro after all. And we are going to see Muddy with a little bit of indecision on his part. He's going to Gobi Arena. So there's a few places to uh, perch up for that so. So I am anticipating the Splattershot Pro here, as mentioned prior. But that so is going to be looking for a shutout victory, but when was the last time you saw a shutout in basketball? We're going to Gobi Arena. And it is indeed, oh, interesting, going with the hero shot. And will, in fact, be the hero shot replica to go along with the NZAP 85, the uh, the carbon roller, interesting, and a hero shot replica. So both of these uh, players completing hero mode, aren't they fancy? And decimating Team Muddy from the very start. The only remaining weapon on the field is that Kensa Splattershot Pro of Baki's, who is somehow remaining alive. And he's looking for that Booyah Bomb to uh, maybe take initiative just a little bit more. Chins, however, coming through with a Stingray as well. Very important in tower control. He's not even aiming for the tower right now. He's looking to take out whatever he possibly can, whoever he possibly can. I should say whomever, and I call myself a broadcaster. Unbelievable. Chins once again, and uh, on the other side of Team That So is Team Muddy, and they will be wielding the Custom Blaster, the End Parry Splat Duelies, the Kensa Splattershot Pro, and the Custom Jet Squelcher. Muddy taking control of the tower, if only for a little bit. However, they will lose control, and it will be reset and taken aback once again. Well, Team Muddy being taken aback right now by Team That's So. And 
look at the amount of yellow ink that was on the field. That's just, this is them just having to work from uh, control of midfield, Team Muddy. And they're doing a good job at the start. It's a 4-3 advantage on the field. And T oh, Infinite Omega maybe just not seeing the suction bomb on the other side. Well planted. And now it's going to be Eris on the front lines. Fearless as always. With that end zap, and he'll employ some ink armor. That's going to help that sub push uh, the initiative forward just a little bit. They do have a disadvantage right now. He's going to need to get back onto the tower, and he will, in fact, take the lead. And they will get past checkpoint number one. So the first checkpoint pass being, uh, being received by a uh, team that's so. And they'll lose the tower. However, it is 35 to 18 on the field right now. On the board, I, sh uh, I should say. That carbon roller is going to get taken out. And Chins just waiting in the wings, looking for anyone who, who dares step forward and try to take more of a lead. However, they're going to have to move the lineup eventually. And Rakesh is putting in that work with the, uh, with the Splatling to cover up a lot of ink on the field. That is a... No, that is not a floating sprinkler. It's just uh, how clipping works sometimes. That is on the scoreboard for certain. And it's definitely going to be a thorn in the side of Team uh, Team Muddy to get that off of there. A task to say the least. And Baki and Chins uh, combining forces to take out their opposition there. Looking for anything they possibly can to move the line forward. And they will take the tower, but... They're going to have to hop off eventually. They'll let the tower reset on their own. They better use this opportunity to go forward. Infinite going for the tower instead. That might be ill-advised. They're not going to make any progress that way. And they are at the checkpoint, but they are down a dualies. They're down the uh, they're down a Imperial Splat dually main here. Muddy looking to get back, trying to push that line forward just a little bit. There is one minute left. They have not gotten an opportunity to uh, push forward whatsoever. Infinite trying to ink up the uh, the area just a little bit more. However, he gets repaid for his efforts by a shot to the face by that so. Muddy looking to super jump. That so was on it. And now it's a 39 to 18 lead in favor of Team That So looking for the 3-0 victory. They will not have dropped a single game here if they are to receive this victory. Will Team Muddy have anything to say about it? Wings with that carbon roller putting in that work. One of those uh one of those weapons that has received a windfall for that uh damage up that uh main weapon power up, excuse me. That so Taking care of business, it looks like it will be a 3-0 victory for that so, that so dominant of Team That So. The 3-0 victory, indeed. What else can you say? But man, oh man, that's so good. And there you have it, Team That So does not drop a single game in the series. Air is putting in that work. Holy smokes, 17 kills. Along to go alongside 11 uh, kills. That is 38 combined splats for uh, the top two killers on that team. And there you go. That's going to do it from us. The Splatoon 2 event, draft event, excuse me. Congratulations to that so proving why he's a Bros Calamity Squall star. And we will be back with more action from here at the laboratory. Glad that you joined us for Splatoon 2, but uh, we're not exactly done yet. We might have a little bit of Smash Ultimate uh, coming your way. And who knows what other surprises we have. So There's only one way to find out. That's to stay tuned. And if you are so inclined, if you want to help out the local scene here in Philadelphia, go ahead and hit that subscribe button like it owes you some money. You get those uh, sweet emotes that uh, Bros Calamity posted up in the chat earlier on. And we will see you on the other side of this break. Once again, that's so winning it three to nil. And we will be back with more Switch versus at the lab action right after this. Don't go anywhere.